guys, so when I checked the temperature this morning, it said it was like 38 degrees by like eight o'clock. Cold, right? Well, look at the sunshine. It's beautiful. We haven't had a sunny day like this in forever. Today, they are going to be picking potatoes. It's a little bit earlier than what we thought we were going to do, but we definitely want to take advantage of the sunshine, no rain, no snow. That's going to be scary if we end up having to do it during snow. And they're picking it today. I literally got a call from mom saying, come down here right away, hold the first plant, and they are beautiful. So let's go check out the progress. There they go. Hi, kids. You come to help pick potatoes? Yeah. Ooh, fun. Well, look, potatoes. You gonna pick it up? Pretty, thank you. That's yeah, that's a potato. It's massive. Here, yeah, Grandma. There's more potato. There's another one right there. Beauties. Oh, wow. Just from the top? Yeah. Beautiful. Almost a full bucket and just Ooh. three. And here's a nice seed potato. Better use it first. <laughs> look at this guy. Yeah, look at this guy. Can you get the dirt off of it? <laughs> I don't like the dust. Okay. <laughs> Can you grab it? Good job! Yeah! Good job, buddy. Yeah, you can pick them up. Yeah. Now they're gonna get washed. And another one. Right now. Take it to grandma. Hey. <laughs> Cheese. <laughs> Potatoes. Something for me. What? Got something for me. Got something for you. I've got dirt. I've got potatoes. Oh, I like to have potatoes. Cause I like them. Good job, Bert. Good job, Willow. They're just about done with the potatoes. I guess they got like 70 something crates yesterday and David's gonna till the last of the couple rows, but that's it. That's crazy. They did it in two days. So last night we had our very first frost, which according to tradition means that the berries are ready to be picked, even though we've already been picking berries <laughs> for a while now. I am going to go see what I can find during my lunch break. This is just the wee bit I found just on the trail, but let's go see how much more we can find. For wild Alaska cranberry sander, this is massive. This is literally, wow, holy cow, amazing. So there's a plane I'm meeting, so I have to leave a little bit earlier than I thought but check these out. I 
I'd say for about like 15 minutes, that's a good amount, right? It's about two-ish cups. I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. Just because I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and make some wild berry Alaska jam. I've never made it before. And I'm gonna be using these frozen currants and blueberries. Oh my gosh, Beasley, hi, get down. These um, frozen currants and blueberries, and I'm also gonna add cranberries to them too. Not the ones I just picked, um, but ones that are already in my freezer. So I need about eight cups total. So I'm gonna start on that and we'll see how this goes. I'm a little bit nervous because I've never done this one before. Nice. Okay, I added the Serto, and now we're gonna stir this around a little bit more. Family's out here for the weekend. We're gonna go hike to the falls. Yeah, where are we going? To the falls. To the falls. What is it, Willow? That one. That one's a cranberry. Yeah, I want to eat those. Yeah, you can eat that one. Okay. How's it taste? Good. Found a lot of them right there. <laughs> those ones are cranberries. Which berries are good to eat? A cranberry. Yeah, which one is not good to eat? A dogwood. Dogwood, good job. So Willow, remember what these are called? Labrador tea. Can you say it? Labrador tea. Good job.